small smoke filled arena just this side of the Twilight Zone. Just this side of the Twilight Zone. The Believer. The person themselves have opened the door. If a believer is, well, let me just say, clearly unwise or uh, crazy enough to play games with a Ouija board or listen to what a psychic says or do something that opens a door way to the enemy. That's what Topon is all about in Ephesians 4. God tells us not to, uh, in that context, not to grieve the Holy Spirit in the, in the sense of sin. Well, if you think in terms of sin being rotten, being the substance, being the stuff that the enemy not only likes to inspire, but to then uh, cause an increase to, and then kind of reach out and grab hold of. So if a believer gets into anger or other sin areas that are undealt with, that continue and continue and continue, it is very possible that the enemy will come and grab that area and uh, make it a real stronghold and bring real defeat to a believer's life. So the Word of God simply says, you know, don't let the you know, sun go down on that anger. In other words, deal with it, you know, that day. And then it says, and then don't give the devil a foothold. Can I ask you, in any way are you giving the enemy a foothold, a right, a right to grab hold, a right to come on an area of your life? It's not the same thing as possession of your spirit, soul, and body, but the idea of attachment, on. And again, the simple issue is here, if you've opened the door and you've given into something and you've allowed um, the dark spirit to then kind of grab hold of a sin area, a doorway that you've allowed to be opened, a legal right where they grab hold and begin to make that a stronghold and begin to bring defeat and harassment to you, well, you're going to have to do two things. Number one, recognize what you've done to repent of it. You've got to repent. It's one thing to command the demons to get away, but you've got to close the door. If I open the back door of my house in the inner city and leave it open for a long enough time, I guarantee you robbers and thieves will eventually come. So you've got to close the door and lock the door. I think Colossians 3 is very clear. Put to death the mis you know, these, these areas of the old sin nature. Or even Romans chapter 8. Uh, to put to death the misdeeds of the old sin nature. So it's putting them to death. It's closing the door, nailing the door shut. And that's it. Burn the bridges. Get away. Walk away. Otherwise, you will end up giving the devil a foothold. So you'll have to both repent of and, yeah, say, Lord, deliver me, and get out in the name of Jesus to clear the area in your life.